nights here. I'll check out the tropical update and there's like nothing to show. There are a whole bunch of possibles. There are little tropical waves. I've got four and a half minutes and I've got to talk about it and make a big deal out of nothing. Today, I've got to move because the tropics are active. Hurricane Felix, or what's left of it, heading out of the picture, forget that. Tropical Storm Gill moving off the coast of western Mexico. But TDs 10, 11, and Tropical Storm um, Umberto making news tonight. Check it out, the big picture. Look at this, from Africa over to the United States, we've got one, two, three, four different disturbances. One is affecting South Florida right now, as a matter of fact. But here's the big boy. Tropical Storm Umberto. Maximum sustained wind, 65 miles per hour. That's a formidable tropical storm. It's almost a hurricane force. Movement west-northwest at 14 miles per hour, as are most of these disturbances right now. And the estimated pressure in millibars and inches. The center of the circulation, still way out in the middle of nowhere. Here's Africa. Here are the Cape Verde Islands. And the National Hurricane Center in Miami puts the center of the circulation 865 miles west of the Cape Verde Islands, and those are your coordinates as of the 11 p.m. Check. Tropical Storm Umberto on this satellite picture right here. This is Tropical Depression number 10, not too far away from it. And here we are referencing not the Cape Verde Islands, but something a little closer to home. Here's South America, and these are the Lesser Antilles, these right in here, those islands. And uh, it's 300 and some miles to the east of the Lesser Antilles, I think you can still see that there's some kind of rotation right in here, though the uh, shower activity as depicted by the orange and red not quite as intense as it was about six years ago. But look at the monster, the big tropical storm, and the central dense overcast right around, oh look at that, man, we might have ourselves a minimal hurricane here in the morning. Umberto, right in there. That's the center of the circulation. And there's not much shear to this thing. This thing is pretty circular in shape. The outflow at the top of it and the inflow of moist air underneath fueling this thing. Now, as long as this takes a west or a west-northwest track, strengthening is likely. But if it curves more toward the northwest, we find that there's a region of some pretty strong westerly winds. And that could shear either one of these things apart. So we'll keep a close eye. The track is critical, of course. If it stays further to the south, it could stay stronger, and then it could pose a problem for you and me as we head toward the weekend. Now that's the tropical Atlantic, or most of it. Look at this. TD, Tropical Depression 11, right near Florida. Here's Florida right there. These are the Bahamas, and this is Cuba. Maximum sustained winds, 30 miles per hour. Movement northwest, right toward Florida, at seven miles per hour. Now, this is not even a tropical storm. It's a tropical depression. There is some signs of circulation, some organization here, and the center of that would be located 120 miles south-southeast of Miami, Florida. We'll get in a little closer first after we show you this big trough of low pressure here, but you can see the circulation right in there, right in there. And you see where that uh, spot of red is? That is near the center of the circulation just offshore and south of Miami. We've had some showers roll in earlier tonight, thunderstorms in Fort Myers, Florida, also in Lakeland up here, right there. They got a thunderstorm, but there are some showers here due directly to that tropical depression that are just about ready to move in on shore. Looks like we've got a little something here in Biscayne Bay at the present time. It's a slow mover. One forecast track takes it across the state of Florida out into the Gulf of Mexico. Another forecast track takes it right up the east coast of Florida. So this one bears watching flood watches are in effect for southeast Florida at the present time. Find out more about the tropics on CompuServe.